How are we doing, everybody? I'm here now with your final forecast. Going to start you off with the current temperatures just one more time to show you that it's still a pretty chilly night already. You see we got 37 degrees here in San Angelo, 43 here in Abilene. A lot of these big country counties are still holding on to those uh, warmer temperatures. Some places still in the 40s. You see up to 44 degrees here in Breckenridge. Even down south, you see 47, 44 again in Junction, but it's starting to cool down in a lot more places. You, th you see 37 as well down here in Mason, 39 degrees in Merton. It's going to continue to be a pretty chilly night not as bad as we saw last night but still pretty cold in many places below that freezing level you see we're gonna have about 30 degrees here in san angelo a little bit warmer above freezing here 34 in abilene but even down to 25 degrees in brownwood it's gonna definitely be a cold night for everyone so make sure you're taking those steps to protect yourselves and your family and your home so what exactly is tomorrow going to look like well those cooler temperatures are mainly going to be during the overnight hours as we head into the morning you see we're going to have 33 degrees at 8 a.m but by the time the sun comes out temperatures will jump up pretty quickly you see 46 degrees already by 10 and highs for tomorrow are going to be maxing out in the 70s a few places in the upper 60s but it's still going to be a pretty temperate day as we formed up quite a bit from what we saw um, over the weekend and even today so something else to also be looking at is that we're going to be seeing some strong winds because of a cold front that's going to be coming in on Wednesday. You can see these faster particles moving up here in the panhandle and this uh, bright pink pocket here. Uh, that's also where some stronger wind gusts are going to be. You know, here in um, West Texas, we're going to be seeing wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. But you see um, in the panhandle, we're going to be seeing even stronger winds. And there's also the possibility of some fire risk as well. You know, anytime we have warm temperatures, dry conditions and high winds, that's when that fire chance re arises. And as we continue through Wednesday, things are going to slow down and we're going to lose that chance. And that's when we see that cold front start to form right through the middle of the region and continuing through Wednesday. That front's going to slowly move to the Concho Valley and that's what's going to bring us those colder temperatures as we continue through the rest of the week. Here is a snapshot of what that fire chance looks like. You see it's taken up a lot of these parts here in the northwest uh, big country and even parts of the Concho Valley from Knox County all the way down to uh, Erion and Tom Green where we are. So it's going to, you know, definitely something to look out for with all these tough conditions, but it's something that I'll keep my eye on as we continue through tomorrow. Now, over these next couple of days, we're going to be seeing quite a roller coaster of temperatures. You see 70 degrees tomorrow, but a series of cold fronts on Wednesday and Thursday are going to continually drop temperatures. You see we'll hit the 60s by Wednesday, even down to the 50s on Thursday. But as we get into the weekend, we will continue to rebound with temperatures even back up to the 70s as we get into the weekend. But it won't last for too long because another cold front will come in on Sunday. You see there's almost a 10 degree difference between the two days, and we are going to see some cloud cover come in as we start out the weekend. But overall, let's Let's do our best to enjoy this week despite some pretty chilly temperatures.